Welcome to Reducing Improper Fractions and Comparing Their Values, Part 2, Advisory. Part 2 won't make a lot of sense unless you watch Part 1. My 7 is? So we end up with 3 once, or, in other words, 3. Okay, so 21 sevenths. Do you have a question or comment, Havana? Um, great. Could you hold on to that thought and share it at the end of the problem with us? Okay, so now we know we've got the value in whole numbers of 25 fifths and 21 sevenths. How about 30 fifths? And again, instead of taking out 5 fifths, why don't we, let's do it 30 fifths. What can, what can we divide 30 by? And the same number we have to divide 5 by and it's going to equal a whole number, which is going to become a new numerator and a new denominator. Uh, Jacqueline, what can you divide 30 by and divide 5 by? No, you can't divide 5 divided by 6. won't give you a whole number answer. Try 5, yeah, okay. 5 divided by 5 is going to be... One, right? And that's what we're shooting for, because we're trying to get a certain number of once, because those are whole numbers, right? And 30 divided by 5 is 6. So 6 once equals 6. So we can go over here, and we're doing color coding. So we know that this is equal to 6. OK, 18 ninths. Now, you should be getting to the point where you're probably looking at 18 ninths. And you're saying to yourself, huh, I think I know how to reduce that to a whole number because I think I see the pattern here. What can we divide both 18 and 9 by and end up with an improper fraction that probably has a denominator of 1? In other words, it'll translate into an equivalent whole number. Frankie? No, you can't divide 9 by 2 because it's an odd number. Tyler, what can you divide both 18 and 9 by, and you'll get a whole number answer. Not a fraction, but a whole number. Think about it for a minute while I write this out. And remember, hint, hint, you can divide any number by itself and 1. 9, that's right. We're going to divide 18 ninths. We're going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 9. And 9 divided by 9 is going to be that 1, and 18 divided by 9 is going to be 2, so 18 ninths equals 2, or 2 once. Okay, we're making progress now. Woo! One more, 54 6. 54, can't believe it, I went all that time before I called on Frankie to tell me that you couldn't see. All right, so you guys know the drill now. We're looking for a mystery number that is the same number that will give us an equivalent fraction that hopefully will have, you know, if the pattern persists, it's happened so far in this problem, this is going to be one. So I'm guessing, can we look at... 54 and 6, can we divide 54 by 6? Yeah. What, do we, what do we get if we divide 54 by 6? 9. And what do we get when we divide 6 by 6? So, all right, so 54, 6 is the same as the big <clears throat> 9, 0, or not 9, 0, 9. So we'll go over here. Okay, now, if somebody said to you, please arrange these fractions in a list from greatest to least? Yeah. Okay, and you knew that this one is 9, this one is 2, this one is 6, this one is 3, and this one is 5. It's pretty easy to look at their equivalent whole number values. And greatest to least, again, I keep forgetting. Greatest to least. Greatest to least. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to actually tear off this piece of paper right here with my 
freakishly strong teacher strength. And I'm going to say, okay, uh, I'm going to put some labels in here just to make it really cool. Greatest to least. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So out of those, which is the biggest value? 54 six, 18 ninths. Tyler, which is the biggest value? 54 six. Because 54 six equals nine. So that's the, that's the greatest value. Then we use process of elimination. We put a line through there so we don't worry about it. Uh, Owen, what's the next biggest one? Uh, 30, yeah, 6, 35th. So I'm going to draw a little arrow here so I don't get too crowded. 35th. Process of elimination, again, cross it out. Okay, Caden, out of all these, we're, do we're done with this one, we're done with this one. We got this one, this one, and this one. Which is the biggest one? 25 fifths. Right, Caden, good. Process of elimination, we want to cross it out so we don't have to worry about it. So we're down to, it gets easier because we're looking at two numbers here. So Jake, which is bigger, 21 sevenths or 18 ninths? Correct. So 21 sevenths, and that leaves 18 ninths. And that is how we take these improper fractions reduce them to uh, their lowest terms, which happen to be whole numbers because they have a denominator of one, and then look at them, and we can easily put them in a list from greatest to least. And that's, that's all I have to say about that.